Greetings, my YouTube and Facebook friends. Once again, had to change the videos, man. How are we ready for tomorrow, for today? But now I've got new breaking news. Here's another big one, and I'm going to go through this briefly. Uh, the Hebrew, a Hebrew text, uh, the rabbis and the experts, the Hebrews in, in Israel, are saying now that their text shows definitely that the rapture is supposed to happen between Rosh Hashanah, or the Feast of Trumpets, this year, 2015, which is next month, between then and Rosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets in 2016. That's what they're saying. They're saying the rapture is imminent now. Here's the bottom line. The rapture is truly imminent. That's true. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says that if the good man of the house would have known the time that the thief was going to break in, he would have prepared and been ready. He said, I come as a thief of the night, Jesus said, and no one knows when a thief comes. He don't knock on your window and tell you, oh, I'm going to come through your window at 2.30 in the morning and uh, next Friday and uh, on the 15th. He doesn't leave you a note and tell you that or a post-it, stick them. He comes when no one expects it. So, and they try to only use the Hebrew roots, folks. Oh, no man knows the other hour uh, and then it's Christ Jesus the trumpets. Look at the Bible and rightly divide it. Rightly divide it. There's so much scripture that shows Jesus comes like a thief in the night. I know the rapture is imminent because I read Matthew 24, I read the whole Bible, and it shows me Jesus is going to come any second of any day. Is September going to be huge next month? <laughs> Man, woo I believe it's going to be humongous. I believe something huge is going to happen. Will it be the rapture? It might, but the rapture might happen right now during this video. So bottom line is this. Be ready every second of every day for Jesus Christ's imminent return. And sadly, most Christians aren't getting raptured anyways. Let's rewind that. Most Christians aren't getting raptured anyways because they won't repent of their sins, but the Bible says at least turn a few times you have to. They try to pick and cherry pick and mix and match and mash it up. It doesn't work there, my friends. Rightly divide the word, and you come up with everything that I tell you because it's all biblical. I don't tell you anything I can't prove in the Bible. And I've got 250 scripture, count them. There's also a commentary that a little six-year-old child can understand. Message me for a copy. I also have 150 scripture. There's also a comment here that a six-year-old child can understand that proves the rapture's pre-trib. Mess me for a copy. But if you're left behind, unsaved and backslidden Christians, you'll be here for seven years of hell on earth. It'll tear this world its foundations. And if God didn't intervene, no flesh will remain alive. As it is, about two-thirds of all humans will die the most awful, grotesque, horrific death you can possibly imagine. Why well, go through all of that? i got a prayer in the box below the video title. If you've never been saved or you're a backslider, pray that prayer. Do those six final next steps as soon as possible. No one's guaranteed any more time in life. Also in that box, my trip survival guide video. Tell us you get saved during the trip. With respect to A to Z, if you'd like me to pray for you, contact me and I will. Christians keep witnessing and praying. If they won't listen, it's for them and God. But look up, my friends. Our different girl and I will fly soon. Have a blessed day. Share this video. Bye.